Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Maths class. Today, I'm going to show you a video about telling time in Roman numerals. Let's start. Write the time shown on each clock. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now, let's reveal the answers. For the first clock, we got 5 past 1. The second clock is 20 to 5. And the third clock, we got 20 past 6. Our learning objective for today is to tell and write the time using a clock with Roman numerals. Success criteria. I can't tell and write the o'clock time. I can't tell and write the half pass, quarter pass, and quarter to time. I can't tell and write the time to the nearest five minute. And I can't solve problems involving time. Roman numerals. Roman numerals originated in ancient Rome. It is believed to have come from the ancient Etruscans. The symbol for one probably began as a single tally, marked made in wood or dirt as a way of counting and recording. It would be a very easy mark to make on a wax tablet too. Since the Romans or the ancient Romans have no proper writing, so they have only used tallies during the old times. So it is also believed that one is a symbol for one tally mark. For two, we got two tally marks. And three, we have three tally marks. So here are the Roman numeral numbers. So we have one as one, tally, two, three. And take note, they got five as V. Always remember that V is number 5. Take a look at 4 and 6. In Roman numerals, if the number less than 5 is at the left side, they have to subtract that big number. So 5 less than 1 is 4. If the number less than 5 is in the right side, it means to add. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So that is how they count. Now 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. Same rule applied. So 10 is x. Okay. So x or 10 minus 1 is 9. And 10 plus 1 11. And plus 2 12. These are the Roman numerals. Roman numerals on clocks follow the same rule or pattern. You just have to count 1 to 12 on your clock. And you can always use your minutes time pass and the minutes to the hour. Now, let's try this time. So what time is it on this clock? So if you observe that the hour hand is pointing on the 12th, at the same time, the minute hand is pointing to 12. So it is 12 o'clock. What time is it? Please take a look at the minute hand and the hour hand. The time is 3 o'clock. What time is it? This clock shows... 7 o'clock. What time is it? Now, we have learned about the past sides and the two sides. So, it is still on the past side. So, we have half past. And what is the hour? 5. So, it is half past 5. What time is it? Again, it is in the half past time. And what is the hour? It's 8. So half past 8. What 
what time is it? Now we have one, two, three, or 15 minutes or one quarter. So quarter past two, quarter past two. What time is it? Now this is in the two sides, five, 10, 15, 15 minutes or quarter. So it is on the two sides to the next hour. So 15 to one or quarter to one. Now it's your turn. Write the time on each clock. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. For the first clock, we have quarter past 12. The second clock, we have two hours. So we have on the quarter to the next hour is seven. And the third clock, we have half past, and the hour is one. So we have half past one. I hope you get the correct answers. Now let's have three more clocks. What time is it? Okay, so we have five past ten. Great job. What time is it now? We have 20 minutes past 8. And finally, we have to the hour hand. So 5 minutes to the next hour is 7. So it's 5 to 7. I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching my video. Till next time, enjoy learning. Be the best you can. Bye.